A family is rejoicing tonight after finding their missing dog, Charlie. But what's really remarkable is how long he's been missing and how his family found him. News 5's Allison Spann has the story. This is Charlie. He's a 12-year-old German short-haired pointer, and he's been missing for 10 years. His family reported him stolen in 2006, and they're in shock that he's just been found. I didn't know how to react at first, but it was um, shocking. But it's kind of overwhelming, but I'm, I'm glad he's alive. I, just, I would like to get inside his head to figure out where he's been. Renee Jones rescued Charlie last week from the steps of a church near Bruton, Alabama, where he'd been for at least three days. He was just in generally debilitated um, condition. You know, he was starving and pretty, pretty hungry, dehydrated. With visible health problems, Charlie ended up at the Spring Hill Veterinary Clinic, where veterinarian Mary Edmonds scanned him for a microchip. Sure enough, he had a chip. And we were able to trace it back to um, his original owners. Veterinary tech Brandon Barnard says Charlie's case is remarkable. This is the first time that I've ever um, actually gotten in touch with an owner. Usually it, the situation is they haven't um, registered the microchip or the information is out of date. So this is uh, an amazing story. To find out that he not only had a chip, but the information was correct. And that they were thrilled to know that he was still alive. I mean, it was um, it was a goosebump kind of moment. Charlie is sick and has a cancerous mass on his chest, which Tracy wasn't expecting to hear. But she wants to make the best of it. He's sick, but we can make his last days the best. Charlie is too weak to undergo surgery for his tumor, but the vet says in a few weeks he should be strong enough. For now, reporting in Mobile, Allison Spann, News 5.